Merry Christmas, everybody. Michelle and I just want to take a moment today to send greetings from our family to yours. This is one of our favorite times of year, and we're so fortunate to be able to celebrate it together in this wonderful home. This is the people's house, so Barack and I try to open it to as many people as we can, especially during the holiday season. Now, this month, more than 100,000 Americans have passed through these halls, and the idea behind this year's theme, Simple Gifts, is that the greatest blessings of all are the ones that don't cost a thing, the comfort of spending time with loved ones, the freedoms we enjoy as Americans, and the joy we feel upon giving something of ourselves. So in this time of family and friends and good cheer, let's also be sure to look out for those who are less fortunate, who've hit a run of bad luck or who are hungry and alone this holiday season. Because this is the season when we celebrate the simplest yet most profound gift of all, the birth of a child who devoted his life to a message of peace, love, and redemption. A message that says no matter who we are, we are called to love one another. We are our brother's keeper. We are our sister's keeper. Our separate stories in this big and busy world are really one. Today, we're also thinking of those who can't be home for the holidays especially all our courageous countrymen serving overseas. That's the message I delivered when I visited our troops in Afghanistan a few weeks ago. That while you may be serving far from home, every American supports you and your families. We are with you, and I have no greater honor than serving as your Commander-in-Chief. Today's soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, and Coast Guardsmen make up the finest fighting force in the history of the world, just like their predecessors. They do extraordinary things in service to their country. What makes that all the more remarkable is that today's military is an all-volunteer force, a force of mothers and fathers, sons and daughters, husbands and wives. That's right. And as First Lady, I've had the honor to meet members of our military and their families on bases and in communities all across the country. I've gotten to know husbands and wives doing the parenting of two while their spouse is on another deployment. Children trying their best in school, but always wondering when mom or dad is coming home. Patriots putting their lives on hold to help with a loved one's recovery or carry on the memory of a fallen hero. When our men and women in uniform answer the call to serve, their families serve too, and they're proud and glad to do it. But as long as that service keeps the rest of us safe, their sacrifice should also be our own. Even heroes can use a hand, especially during the holidays. So we're encouraging Americans to ask what you can do to support our troops and their families in this holiday season. For some ideas on how to get started, just visit serve.gov. You'll see that you don't need to be an expert in military life to give back to those who give so much to us. There are countless ways to contribute by harnessing your unique talents. If you live near a base, you can reach out through your local school or your church. If you don't, you can volunteer with organizations that support military families. And anybody can send a care package or prepaid calling card to the front lines or give what's sometimes the most important gift of all, simply saying thank you. America's brave servicemen and women represent a small fraction of our population, but they and the families who await their safe return carry far more than their fair share of the burden. They've done everything they've been asked to do. They've been everything we've asked them to be. And even as we speak, many are fighting halfway around the globe in hopes that someday our children and grandchildren won't have to. So let's all remind them this holiday season that we're thinking of them and that America will forever be here for them, just as they've been there for us. And on behalf of Michelle, Malia, Sasha. And Bo. And Bo. Have a very Merry Christmas. And an even happier New Year.